What is up? This is Joe from the Buckeye Cast bringing you another daily Buckeye Blitz. Kicking off your Monday, your your next week. Hopefully you're you're doing well. Maybe I'll uh I got an idea. Let's bang on Michigan. That'll put a smile on your face, right? Get this day started right. Okay, let's do it. So on Saturday evening, Michigan's official Twitter account, Michigan football, whatever, uh, they tweeted out a statement from Jim Harbaugh. Apparently, they're going to run two different quarterbacks out there in week one and two. Cade McNamara is going to start week one. J.J. McCarthy is going to start week two. Oh, my God. Have you ever seen something so stupid? Uh, let me read this statement real quick. It's not long. Um, it's a fancy graphic, by the way. Very impressed. Got the Jordan logo on there and everything. And that piss yellow. And uh, anyway, here's here's the statement from Jim Harbaugh. We have made a decision, period. Both quarterbacks have played great, highlighted in yellow. Done everything they could have and in every way to win the starting job, period. Come out of camp, I just feel like we have two quarterbacks, Cade McNamara and J.J. McCarthy. Yeah, we know their names. That we feel very confident that we can win a championship, highlighted in yellow, with either of those two behind center, period. Paragraph two. It's a great thing for our team, but there's only one ball and only one quarterback can be out there at a time, period. So we're not ready to say who that starting quarterback is, but the decision that we have made is Cade McNamara will start the opener, underlined in yellow, against Colorado State. And J.J. McCarthy will start the second ball game, it's football, football game, <laughs> under, underlined in yellow for some reason also, against Hawaii. And then after week two, we will make a decision going into week three on the starter and backup. Oh, my God. Uh, this is hilarious. Um, how does playing two garbage, almost high school teams make your quarterback decision easier? What do you expect to see? Oh, we have quotes. Here we go. <laughs> Harbaugh on, on their, uh, their athletic department produced podcast, by the way. Uh, he said, Cade McNamara is a little bit ahead. This was, uh, I don't know, a week ago. Who knows? Uh, he started the full 20, 2021 season, of course. He had got all the reps in the spring when Carthy was injured. So he's got that little couple of legs up there. Um, McCarthy was also ahead in sacks allowed. Obviously, he runs around a lot. So uh, Jim's quotes here. And from the podcast are uh, both quarterbacks have played great, done everything they could in every way to earn the starting job, blah, blah, blah. Uh, you need to see it in the game because that's when it really separates. Really? Against Hawaii and fucking Colorado State? Are you kidding me? Those are two of the worst teams in Division One. You might as well just – how is – how did, have you not seen enough – in practice against your defense. I would hope that your defense, and matter of fact, I've seen your defense. It's much better than Hawaii or Colorado States. How is, how is that not enough? What are you looking for? And he goes on with a couple more quotes of what he's looking for here. Very analytical guy, you know, the football guy. Tries to get into some, uh, throw some analytical words around here. Points per drive is the thing you look closest at, but red zone efficiency, two minute efficiency, third down efficiency. In my opinion, that needs to be played out in the ball games for who is the quarterback that's going to give us the best opportunity to, by the time you get that third game, fourth game, both are considered starters here. Holy crap. This is, I hope chef's kiss. This will blow up in your face beautifully. This is nothing than a lame ploy to keep JJ around, get him a little playing time. He's he's not going to take the bulk of the snaps. This is a joke. It's a farce. Cade will start 10 games this year, guaranteed. If JJ starts more than two, I'd be shocked, honestly, because we know how hardball is. JJ's a little bit too much of a wild card for him. He's a good quarterback, young, 
but he's he's a little too wild, a little too frisky. Harbaugh wants that guy that's going to sit in the pocket, and then he's going to run the shit out of the ball and throw to two tight ends once in a while. Maybe run a reverse here and there. That's about it. So this is hilarious. I uh, just thought you guys might uh, enjoy that to start off your week. So uh, I'll see you again tomorrow. <laughs> I don't know if I can come up with something this funny, but uh, I'll look around. Anyway, talk to you later. Go Bucks. <laughs>